Welcome back to the University of New Haven's Business Analytics Department series on the R language and working within the R Studio environment. In this video, we are going to learn how to identify certain variables or uh, types of data within a large data set so we know how to work with it. In the process, I'm also going to show you um, two different ways to isolate types of data or, or variables within a data set. So to get started, um, I'm going to run the script here, which is going to load a salary variable or a, a table. So we hit control enter. We see a table with graduates, salaries, and their genders. We also see the uh, table located in the environment window. So in this case, we want to identify what type of data is represented in the gender column. That way we know how to work with it. So we're going to use a function called class. So we're going to type class and then in the parentheses, this is how we're going to isolate the gender variable within the salary data set is the data set is called salary. So we're going to select, select salary, use the dollar sign, and then we see that graduates, salaries, and gender pop up. These represent subsets of the salary. So if we click gender, hit enter, it tells us it is a character to string and it doesn't have a numeric value to it. Now, if we were to do the same thing and select, select salaries instead, it's going to tell us it's numeric. So we know we can calculate it. We can find averages, things along those lines, dispersions of measurement. Another way we can do it is using the is function. So we type is, say is character. We're going to find out if gender is a character or a string. So we add that enter and we get an error message why did we get that error message well if you look from our previous um, attempts when we when we call gender we need to call the superset so we need to call salary dollar sign and then gender so if we were to do that right here and now we hit enter we're calling the gender subset within salary and we're finding out if it is a has a character value or a string value and it comes back true this happens a lot it's really important to, to locate a subset and, and identify the superset when trying to find specific types of information there is a shortcut for this and that is using the attach command or attach uh, function now attach is going to create an implication. So I'm going to attach salary, um, put salary into the parameters. And basically what that's saying that whenever we call a set or a variable, it's implied that it is within the salary subset. So if we were to do that again, um, like we did previously, we did is character gender, we remove the salary dollar sign and we hit enter, we're going to get true. This attachment is implied um, upon the subset by creating this kind of shortcut for the search path it does make things easier it will make things a little more complicated later on um, because you can't attach multiple things without getting some confusion so it's up to the user on how they want to use it now if you want to remove an attached uh, file or a file path you're going to use the command detach and detach, you can just remove the uh, salary. Thanks again for joining us, uh, University of New Haven's Business Analytics Department series on R and working with the R Studio environment. I encourage you to click the follow button and check out some of our other videos on uh, on the language. Thanks.